So this is my new main DAS setup for 2023. And today I just wanted to show you all how you could build something like this for as little as $200. When I was thinking about a new desk, I wanted to change things up a little bit from the typical IKEA hack desk setup that we're used to seeing over these past five years. While this butcher block countertop is super clutch for quality desk setup, especially when you're building them yourself, you can save a little bit more money. There's a lot of real estate, durable, look beautiful. They don't always come with a lot of depth. And one thing I really wanted to have with my setup, the place where I'm spending most of my time, I want it to be spacious. I didn't want to feel enclosed in while I'm working in this space. I wanted to have the freedom to draw when I needed to draw, to bring over a different tablet or phone and use that while I'm there, to have plenty of breathing space to knock out these videos. I think you get the picture by now. I just wanted more room, but I didn't want to break the bank. So I opted out of your typical butcher block countertop from Ikea and Home Depot, and I went with a butcher block island. <music> Now, essentially, it's the same thing. It's durable, it looks great, but instead you're getting 17 extra inches of depth from front to back on your desk while still being 74 inches wide. For a reference, a lot of the butcher block tops come in like 74 inches wide by 25 inches deep. For this desk setup that I'm using here, it's actually 42 inches deep, and that's pretty deep, but so is five inches. I got you guys. Underneath the desk, I use the typical Alex drawer system. They're super clutch, lots of room, easy to set up, affordable. I can't recommend these things enough. There's a reason why these have been one of the most purchase drawer systems for setups in the last five years. And then on top of the desk, I'm using a dual monitor stand. Now this is where I typically edit, organize all my stuff. Again, I'm at this desk every single day. So you could opt out of using a desk riser like I have and save a little money on that and just get a couple desk mounts. Do take in mind that if you go with this desk, if you're going to still use it for a gaming setup, you might want to change whatever your monitor stands are for this desk. You're gonna wanna utilize some kind of gas spray mounting system for this so that way you have that room from the depth and speaking of setups I'm trying to set up this channel here with a hundred thousand subscribers this year make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on the notifications a super cool thing about using the butcher block island top from Ikea is you get the depth to be able to have the PCs comfortably fit in the background so if you're having a dual PC setup you put the PCs in the back and you still have so much more room on the desk to put everything else it doesn't fill up all the space or if you're like me and using it as a creative you saw plenty of room to get the work Done. Now, obviously at this point, if you're looking at my exact setup and you're adding everything up, you're gonna say, Big E, this is pushing nearly $500. This is not 200 like you said. Hold up. So first off, if you're buying it just straight up new from the website, there is more affordable options to lower this down to like 230 range. With the desktop being only $150, if you simply go to some place like Amazon and grab the same legs that I have for my recording desk setup here, with 150 for the desktop and $80 for the legs, you'll actually end up saving over $250 and that's of course brand new. However, this next part to really budget down will only work for certain people. If you're within a drivable distance to Ikea, I would highly suggest that you go check out their as is section. The benefits of their as is section is it's products that people typically buy from Ikea that they either A, return because they don't want them anymore or B, they're a little bit blemished, just ever so slightly. If you guys have never seen any of my recent videos explaining this or showing us shopping through this section, you can get amazing deals here. So for example, if somebody was to return the butcher block top and the Alex drawers, which for the Alex drawers, it does happen a lot. It's one thing I will definitely suggest for you to do if you're within range of Ikea and you want Alex drawers, go there and make sure somebody hasn't already returned some because then they come pre-built. But if you were able to do so, you could get my setup for as low as $280 in the as is section. Again, to be that affordable and rely on the as is section is kind of a gamble. It really depends on how far you are away from Ikea. But honestly, if you're just looking to save some money, just getting the desktop alone and then going to Amazon for the legs is a perfect setup for whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish this year. And at the end of the day, that is the beautiful thing about making or building your own custom desk setup is being creative and innovating and expanding on ideas that you could have to make your workspace cleaner and more enjoyable for you. At the end of the day, all you need is 
solid legs and a slab of something. I've seen people get so creative in this area that they go to a door store and they just select a big piece of wood before the door is etched out and a door. Before it gets all the grooves, before it has a notch, just a plain hard door. That's that's what they use as their desk setup. But this is my current main desk setup moving into 2023. I love this thing, can't recommend it enough.